Hello everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I'm Denise and uh, somebody wanted me to read more on the Trump kids or adults. <laughs> anyway, so this one will be devoted to Don Jr. and what's her name, Gilfoyle, Gargoyle, whatever. Uh, and we'll look into uh, look into this week. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm sticking with the kipper for a little bit, at least, uh, for some of these relationship readings. And this one, of course, is... Uh, this will be looking into Don Jr. and... What's her name? Kimberly. Kimberly Guilfoyle. So, let's see, do we need to look into the past? Yeah, I do. I hear, I just heard, yeah, past, okay. So let's look into the past. I'm kind of, I, I'm wanting to like sniff out, the reason I'm using this deck, oops, do I have some cards turned over? I sure do. I. I'm, I'm trying to sniff out legal issues in there, you know, because we do have a lot of legal cards in this deck, plus all the relationship, um, all the people cards, that, which show all the different relationships. So, let's look at um, Don Jr. and Kimberly's past together. And especially legally and her, you know, because she was, she was involved in the January 6th. Uh, she, she was given $60,000 by, um, you know, the public heiress. What's her name? Fen Fen Fencelli or something like that. She's an Italian, just the daughter of uh, the public chain. You know, the grocery store chain. Yeah, interesting. And, um, yeah, I think she only spoke for like three minutes or less or something to introduce Don Jr. I remember this coming out in the um, uh, the J6 hearing. I remember, what's her name, the, with the blonde hair, Zoe, Zoe Lofgren. I remember her talking about it. So, anyway, I'm wondering if there are any legal ramifications going on for Kimberly. There we have the rules and regulations, which she violated and deceived and lied, it looks like. Okay, so the past with Don Jr. and Kimberly Guilfoyle. This is so crazy. This is my, now, when we're talking outright poverty, uh, it's probably not a real thing with some of these people, but poverty consciousness is, which is why they're greedy, and they think they need tons and tons of money, and, you know. I mean, I just, every time I've looked at her, I'm like, oh, she scares me. It, lo it looks like, I wouldn't want to be close to her. She looks like she might eat you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, she's, ugh. Uh, but anyhow, poverty consciousness is within. That's why they're together. They're hooked up together in this place where they feel that they're, um, well, they, it's unconscious, I believe. But they're, uh, you know, because under the law of affinity, like attracts like, they are together for reasons. And the, here's the reason right here. They, they both have that, uh, you know, probably mindset that there's never enough no matter what they have it's never enough and they must feel that way about themselves inside too but you know we don't care about that i'm sure uh so hmm anyway so in the past the i guess the important piece that's coming through is that there have been visitations of people within the teamwork to try and deceive to try and deceive 
Now this card would have to do with um, money being spent to bring people in with the J6 committee, which was part of what... Um, so basically that Publix heiress, she donated 650 grand uh, and she was hooked in there too with um, Alex Jones and Jenny Thomas. Like they were all hooked together and there was some other guy, Charlie something. What was that guy? Charlie Kirk, I think was his name. And I... Um, you know, they all worked together, and I'm feeling like this is that teamwork about getting people to the Capitol. And the, so her and Don Jr. are like intimately tied together within all of that and all of the deception and the... Um, this card would also be our stand-in card for the grifting that they do. That Trump does and Don Jr. does for him. You know, he and Eric just, they just talk crap. They just lie and distract. This is a card of distraction as well. And they plan. They, they meet up and they make plans. They visit, they come together in all different ways. And, they, and, and I think Kimberly Guilfoyle is in on this as well. Um, yeah, to make plans, they're a close, intimate circle of, you know, people. They think they're making change or whatever, but this is my answer card down here, and this, this is about rules and regulations that they're going to have to be responsible for breaking, because they've broken them. Right here, these two cards about breaking the law. Wow. This is also a card for politics. The official person is a card for politics and grifting politically. You know, it's what they do. So so Kimberly is in on this as well. This is Don Jr. and Kimberly together. And which makes sense of why, you know, she used to be a Fox News uh, host, so it all makes sense. Wait, let's see what was on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This is her. This is her. This is all the details that are coming out. And this is her. She's depressed and worried. Wow. Don Jr. is probably just, you know, three sheets to the wind most of the time, but she might be uh, less likely to imbibe, I guess. Anyway, she has no control here. There's some, this could be a supportive quality either with her, maybe this is, this could be her mother. I don't know anything about this woman personally other than, you know, what I've, what I can remember that's come out in the news. I haven't looked anything up. I don't even know how old she is, but anyhow, pictures I've seen of her just, they, she scares me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be anywhere near her. So I don't know who this supportive woman is that she might confide in, but she's feeling uh, helpless and just waiting and not really, you know, there's no control. She doesn't have any control. She's waiting for something, and I think what she's waiting for would have to do with some type of communication I think she's waiting for the shoe to drop. I think they both are. Uh, and in, the, in their intimate circle, I think that they, that Don Jr., because we have to remember, Don Jr., well, all the kids, all the, or, uh, you know, adult heirs or whatever we call them. I always need help with those words. <laughs> I want to say spawn. But I... Um, They've all been before, you know, depositions with New York State. They've been through uh, depositions with um, the J6 committee. And so I think they know what's coming down the line for them, and they're waiting. Wow. Okay, 
So that doesn't look good. I don't see a lot of love or happiness there or joy. I see stress and worry and um, major challenges and depression, especially her. So let's let let me reshuffle and ask the question or ask from a different angle. So that's the past. Past and kind of presently, past and present, I should say. Let's see where they're headed in the future. And it, and it could be, it could be just in this next week or two, or it could be further out. Let's just see where they're headed. Timing is always challenging. You know, Merrick Garland will get his, his stuff together and everything done when he does when he does and there are so many different puzzle pieces that have to fit into place that there's I don't know that anybody can accurately predict like this day or this day although I in mean, astrologically looking at Trump's transits and uh, solar arcs oh, and his progressed moon that's um, yeah anyway I would not be surprised if something didn't happen uh, between the end of the month and the next couple of weeks, like mid-September or even on through the rest of September, because he just has so many challenging aspects going on. Something's going to come down. Okay, but Don Jr. and... Kimberly Guilfoyle, where are they headed? What is going on there? Again with the teamwork, meetings, legal proceedings, drugs and alcohol, somebody's, <laughs> oh boy. Wow, some of these same cards. Okay, same cards. Interesting. Oops, almost flipped that one right off the table. Oh, great. So, yeah. They get high and they're happy and they can forget about things for a while. So this is like pretty much right inside their relationship. Um, again, having to be accountable for something with this official person card here. That's what creates the change. Drugs, alcohol, longing for something new, wanting to get away. But but then thinking about, ooh, what about the rules and regulations in other countries? You know, I don't think she would want to do that. We have both of the travel cards here, though. It's hard to mess this card up, and and I am seeing it as um, opportunities to get away. Some success, some travel success. I mean, to have both of these cards sandwiching in this one, they they may be wanting to get out of the country. They may be making plans, although I don't have the planning card here. Let's see what was on the bottom. Deception, yeah, about their reputation, and then this is uh, Don Jr. himself, because that, that's, that's how the deck works, even though he doesn't look like that. But his reputation is... Uh, he will be known to be a cheater. That's what these cards are about here. Okay, so... Yeah, there, it's just meetings together with... I don't know that they're meeting with a lot of other people other than it's whatever... They're talking all the time about how do we get away because they can see what's coming down here. They're, wor they're worried about their legal situation here. With these cards knighting together, the courthouse, the uh, judicial process that's going through, a, a decree that could come down, 
somebody pressing charges, <sighs> court hearings, January 6th hearings. They know that there's one coming up, I think September, right? So next month. And I mean, they do have contacts. They do have contacts in other countries. They could, they could do that. But he would have to leave behind his five kids. I'm sure his ex-wife, Vanessa, who's very well equipped to take care of them, would be, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this might not just this might not be in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. This this might be long term into the future. But he's definitely we have three cards here that show that he wants to get away. And because his card was at the bottom of the deck, this is mostly him. And I'm pretty sure she wouldn't go with him, do you think? Would she be that dumb to go to, you know, like Saudi Arabia or something where women have no freedom? Or to go to some country with him where there's no extradition treaty? I mean, the list is long, but there are countries that women don't have equal rights. I mean, we barely do here. Do we even really have equal rights here? We don't have equal pay. So there's that. Uh, interesting. So they're just talking about, they're meeting and talking about their success and the changes that they can make and movement that they can physically get away, you know, and move from. And they're locked together in this delusion in this weird uh, mental situation that is swimming in alcohol and drugs is what I'm getting there. Mostly him. But she's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. But because these two cards night together, the family room and the distant horizons tells me that there's drugs and alcohol in their house all the time. Okay. They're, they're, they are very successful at getting drugs and alcohol all the time. <laughs> and they could be very successful in getting out of Dodge as well. Like maybe a thief in the night because they don't want this coming down or he doesn't want. He he might be trying to get her. So let let's let let me ask from that angle and then I'll just close this up. But is that something that's going to happen? Are they are first of all, is he gonna leave and would she go with him? Would that is that actually going to happen? Let me get these mixed up really well. <laughs> is she going to be dumb enough to do something like that? And because they have contacts over there, he could do it, but he'd have to leave his five kids. If he's a, you know, I mean, the abuse, the abusive uh, nature of drugs and alcohol, would tell me that he. It, until he sobers up and gets clean for years, he's he's not going to even care about anything. That's the way it works. When people are abusers, they abuse the people in their lives that love them the most. Poor kids. Okay. Don Jr. and Kimberly Guilfoyle. Are you going to be leaving the country? What is going on there? Now we know that, so that's her. We know that uh, Trump can't because, I mean, unless he gets the Secret Service to, um, that's right, they are, they're, they're engaged. Unless Trump gets the Secret Service to collude with him, he has Secret Service detail on him 24-7, lifetime. It used to only be 10 years, but Obama put it to lifetime before he left. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Okay, so 
but let's let me focus back in. Where are, are these guys going to try to get out of the country? What are they trying to do? Would they be successful? Or was or were those cards just all about drugs and alcohol? So here they both are. They've both come through. That's another thing. Some countries they'll, they'll just take all your assets and that's the only way you get to stay there. That's what MBS did to his own his own family. Sure, you can come live in the palace. But I'm taking all your assets and he did. Nice family, huh? Okay, so he's got, he's considering like, oh, what about the marriage? It, <laughs> it's coming up soon. They're, or they're engaged to be married. They've been engaged. He's, she's got a big rock on her finger. I do remember seeing a picture of that. Uh, and then, but they're not married yet. But that's what's coming down the line for them. I don't have any cards here about them trying to get away, though. So now that changes everything, because that means those other cards were all about the drugs and the alcohol and uh, wanting to get away, maybe. She wants to be legally married because he's like a meal, t uh, meal ticket to her and... She, because these two cards are bookends, bookending each other, she is, she's, she's just a lion cheat, just like, she's as bad as he is, right? She's just, she's as deceptive as he is. And she's the one most likely causing him even more problems than he wants to deal with. And he's worried, man, look at the, the, wow, this is the worst card in the deck, you know, besides the, the death card or the fatality, the coffin card. But this is the second, I mean, because this, this is just major, major depression and you can't think of anything else. It's, it, you can't concentrate. Major insecurity. And then with, um. The despair card here, it's, you know, I always, I've said a bunch of times, you guys will probably remember, uh, it's my being tortured with worry and stress card. It's also a card of hangovers and nightmares, things like that. So maybe he's moving towards just a lot more drug and alcohol use and then lots of hangovers and she's hanging over him going come on you gotta stop you know whatever maybe I don't know or maybe they just do it together um, now this is the card that I you know always read it as it's kind of hard to mess up but we we have this deception here that could really mess up their their whole marriage I am reading this as their marriage and bond it's hanging over him he doesn't really want to get married he doesn't really want to commit, I don't think. But she's up here on the in the top row, knighting on to him. So he she has more control over the relationship than he does. But they're not in the direction they're they are facing each other. So I it it's not like one's leaving and the other one. I I mean I still see them kind of joined at the hip. But it's not happy at all. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what was at the bottom of this one. <laughs> well, no, this isn't good. It could take some time, but it's going to end. But it may end in death. There's that possibility. Yeah, especially with the transformational butterflies here. It's like if this guy doesn't get some some help, some rehab, and get stay sober, he could um, he could very well end up inadvertently taking himself out. Okay, well that's it for this one. All right, big hugs, you guys. Take good care. Bye.